Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you wanna sleep amazing, this channel is for you. I always talk about set it and forget it, which I believe is the guaranteed path towards sleeping amazing if you stick to it. Andrew, a member of the community, sends us an important email where he clarifies how he thinks you should approach set it and forget it. And I think it is brilliant. Welcome back, hope you're doing really, really well. Hope you're uh, feeling well and that if you are confined to the inside, uh, as many of us are now a days uh, that you're doing something that is creative and makes you happy. Um, now, this said, uh, we're gonna take a look at an email from Andrew, which I think is really, really insightful and helpful. And, uh, uh, but do, do stick around for an announcement uh, after we go over this email from Andrew. So. Um, as many of you know, I, I often talk about what I call set it and forget it. And set it very briefly is kind of like learning about insomnia and then setting a time like a sleep window. Getting up early, same time every day, not spending too much time in bed, set it. And then forget it is like taking steps away from you know sleep, like spending less time thinking about it, etc. That's set it and forget it. Now, uh, uh, with that said, uh, let's let's read this uh, email from Andrew where he clarifies some some concepts here. So uh, this came in three days ago. It goes as follows: Hi Daniel, it's been a while since I last emailed you, but I want to say that I love watching your YouTube videos and I have kept uh, meaning to send you a few comments and ideas, but I haven't gotten around to it till now. Well, you did now, and I'm super grateful for it. Um, I'm quite an analytical person, which no doubt was part of the reason I ended up with insomnia. And now I find it fascinating to try to put together a picture or plan of how insomnia operates and where the different issues that you discuss fit, fit into this picture. And uh, before we go further here, just very quickly, uh, you see the insight from Andrew. Uh, a lot of people that develop insomnia are a little bit of overthinkers, but guess what? Just like Andrew, you can exploit that trait to your benefit. If you are an overthinker, then you can overthink anything except sleep and you'll sleep much better. If you're kind of obsessive, you can obsess of, 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 about anything except sleep and you will sleep better. So you can always exploit that, those traits if you have them. Now, let's go on here. Something that I thought of that might be of help is the idea of how or where the recovery happens. Like my analogy between physical fitness and insomnia recovery, Neither of them happen all at once with a big fanfare and suddenly then you're fit or recovered, but nor is there a continuous gradual improvement that you just hang around waiting for. What happens is you give yourself challenges, lift a weight, walk upstairs, run for 30 seconds with rest afterwards. Repeat that over time and the improvement happens. I think with insomnia, the challenge happens each time a thought pops up in your head and says something like, you need to fix this quickly or Google the consequence of poor sleep or find a supplement to fix this, etc. You notice that and return back to your plan. So when we say set it and forget it, it's important to remember that there are different timescales involved. Set it happens once, a one-off result of learning the truth about sleep and making a plan based on that. Forget it happens many, many times when you let go of the distracting thought. Don't follow it uh, with any action and return to the plan. All those little forget it's are what reteach you reactive, uh, reteach your reactive brain that you're not in danger. Hope this makes sense. It makes 100% sense. I actually uh, read through this just before I started recording to plan how I was gonna, you know, maybe clarify points, etc. And I found that I, I really didn't need to do that at all. So I'm just kind of just gonna double down on the very important points here. Number one, uh, Andrew shared this super helpful analogy uh, 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 where he talked about how um, uh, g getting past insomnia is kind of like exercise, you know, uh, meaning when you start exercising, uh, he said, you may feel pain initially, it might hurt. That doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong, it just means you should keep going and eventually you feel good. Same thing when you start, you know, uh, implementing set it and forget it, you may actually sleep worse initially. You have, may have more anxiety initially. That doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It's just like exercise, just keep going. You will feel, feel really good. So that was, that's a big uh, uh, um, insight that he shared previously in this email. He talks about um, 
uh, another very important analogy again like uh in getting past insomnia it's not going to be like you, you you do set it and forget it and then boom you're done you're sleeping great no and it's not all, also not like day by day you just do better and better and better it's not that type of recovery either it's just like exercise it's a little fitful it's like a yo-yo in the beginning if that happens to you that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong you know super important and then and then the big one here i feel is yes said it happens pretty quickly when you understand insomnia and you see what's going on and you set a sleep window then you've done set it but the forget it it's like a, you know it's over a longer time scale and exactly what andrews ha- uh, uh, points out here super important all these thoughts will pop up in your brain like you should you have to do something you have to find a supplement you have to do this you have to do that and every time you say no i'm just going to stick to my, my plan no then you are doing the forget it like you're tr- you know you you know you're, you're training yourself you're training your brain uh, that insomnia is not, sleeplessness is not dangerous etc so I, I just love this andrew it was really really helpful and uh, I have nothing more to add uh, than, than what's in here. Really, really helpful. And, and then the final announcement here, I am gonna upload a video which is gonna be like Insomnia Insight, I believe number 302 today. And, and please listen to it. Uh, please check that one out. Um, it, it, it goes over some real, real insights I've had over the past weeks, months. And, and, and it, it talks about how we are gonna move forward here. We're gonna start talking about this model that I think is really helpful. Meaning everything I've said over the past year plus is still just as true, but I found this model uh, in the life coach space that I think is really gonna help um, to you know, to explain things, coach, for me as a coach, and if, uh, to explain things, you know, I'm not gonna say more than that, but please listen to this uh, video uh, or tune into this video. And I think you, you, you know, uh, it will be really helpful, particularly in the long run. So with that said, I hope you'll have a nice weekend and I'll be back on Monday. Until then, take it easy.